What is up everybody? It is Big Bubba here. Welcome to my newly revamped channel today. Uh, today's video is going to be about um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare and my thoughts on the gameplay that I have been watching over the last few days from fellow streamers, YouTube influencers, and the Call of Duty community. I also wanted to point out that this gameplay is E. coli Espresso's gameplay. It was it came from his one hour long gameplay. So I'm gonna put all of his social media links down below and I hope you guys enjoy my thoughts so far here on Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2019. Well, sorry guys, I just wanted to pause my recording audio audio recording for a minute because I just wanted to double check to make sure the audio is lined up and everything. Cause I'm still new to YouTube. I rebuilt my I rebuilt plenty of channels in my YouTube career. Um, yeah, so I've been Call of Duty is very special to me. It's a special place in my heart. It's been I it's I've been playing Call of Duty games since I was around four or five years old. First one I remember playing was Call of Duty Big Red One. It's really old. It's one of my personal favorites, but that's not what we're gonna be talking about today. Today, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my thoughts on Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And just on the gameplay and the gameplay mechanics, sounds, sound design, so far, and what I like about it. Well, I didn't play the game yet, but I am very excited to play this during the beta. For PlayStation 4, we have a total of a 10-day beta, which I think is awesome. Sorry if I screamed right there. I'm just really pumped. I love Call of Duty, especially with this Call of Duty game. We're watching a lot of the gameplay. Some people may get mad at me for this, but I see a lot of good things about this game. One, there's free DLC, which is awesome. So come DLC season, that'll be great. Um, for, um, uh, I don't know what else to talk about. I just lost my train of thought. My bad. Um, well, first of all, I want to point out the guns here in this gameplay. That E. coli espresso is using. They, they look like really cool guns. I like them. That one is the AUG, I believe. Well, it reminds me of the AUG. Well, it is the AUG. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's currently 3 in the morning here on Saturday, August the 3rd. Yeah, August the 3rd. So I'm just trying to get some little ideas here while I film this video. I'm also currently playing Madden while I record this gameplay. I mean, this, um, audio recording over a gameplay for this game. Huh. But anyway, my thoughts on Call of Duty Modern Warfare are pretty positive. I don't like bashing games because I usually enjoy every game I play. I really do. I enjoy every game I pretty much play. I'm very excited for this game to come out. I like how there's no specialist in the game. Even though I still like the specialist system. I always like going back to modern day Call of Duty games, especially this one. The full reboot. I'm excited to play the campaign. Excited to play Spec Ops. Again, I miss Special Operations Spec Op mode. The last time there was a Spec Ops mode in Call of Duty was, I believe, MW3. Modern Warfare 3 in 2011. So, yeah, it would be nice to get back into things with the some old modern warfare uh, memories and nostalgia um but wow well, I keep forgetting I wish I wrote down a notepad of my thoughts on this game I mean I have so much on my mind about this game it's just it's just not processing because I'm not good with this YouTube commentating stuff I usually just do live streams and have people watch me like play the game and stuff I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, the guns sound amazing. The way how he, the the way how the player is running right now is just awesome. Really fast paced. It reminds me of Crank from Ghost. The run speed. Uh, there's also one thing I wanted for this game, and that is like a conquest mode in Domin um, in this game, like kind of like in Battlefield. There's conquest. But I believe there is something just like that in this game. I don't know yet. Also wanted to point out Hardline Perk. That's a great perk. 
It's one of my favorite perks, especially with Scavenger. Those are two good perks. They were in previous Call of Duties for many years. Um, but my thoughts on this game, I haven't played it, but I love it. I love the gameplay. I love what I see. Infinity War definitely bounced back on this game from their Infinite Warfare game. I don't hate on the developers. I just don't like... You know, I, I, I'm going to explain what goes down in the Call of Duty community. Some of you guys don't know how much time these developers put in to make us these games every single year. Hell, man. It takes... A lot of hours, blood, sweat, and tears to make a video game. And they've been busting their balls since um, Infinite Warfare on the new engine, which is public information, I believe. Then, they, then towards the end of Infinite World, towards the end of Infinite Warfare's life, or during, once it launched, they started pre they started um, right for their next game, which was probably this game, which I think is pretty cool how they do all that cool stuff. Um, I just don't like when people bash other game developers when they put their, their so much time and effort into their games just to make sure they bring us a nice, solid, beautiful game. But all I got I, I to say a lot about this new engine, I can see it. Some people are telling me it's not really a new engine, but I honestly think it is a new engine. I played a lot of video games in my day. I've been around for around for a while. Not a long time, but I've been around for a while. I played a lot of video games, and this is definitely a new engine. I can see it. I can't wait to play it on my PlayStation 4 Pro in October. Well, in a couple weeks for the beta event. I'm very excited about that. Um, also, if you guys hear a fan noise in the background, that's my uh, AC window unit thing. Those things are awesome. You guys should get one. They help make your room cool and all that. All right, that's off topic. Um... Well, yeah, I'm excited for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The sights look awesome, though, too. They really do. The sights look amazing. The maps look pretty darn cool. Um, I'm just really excited for this game. I have no negatives about this game. Another thing I want to know is about this game is the prestige ranks. What's the max rank? Because in every Call of Duty... My goal is to at least hit the max rank. The last few years I haven't been quite there yet because most of the past few games have been at level 1000. The last game I came close to level 1000 in was Call of Duty World War II, which is a game I love and appreciate from the amazing men and women at Sludgehammer Games that created that game. Hopefully you guys can um, bounce back and bring us another dope game I know you guys were pulled from the 2020 project which I'm still bummed about but it's alright you guys are still you guys are working with Treyarch and Raven now which Treyarch is now full is now full lead I believe on Call of Duty 2020 I mean that's cool and all but I, I was hoping for Sludgehammer but you know what there's three studios working on a Call of Duty game for 2020 that's pretty cool. I ain't complaining. That means they're all good. they're gonna be good come launch time. So I'm excited for that game. Um, my hopes are it's like a Cold War. Cold War, kind of similar to Black Ops One, but like something different in a way. I mean, in the Call of Duty community, people don't like stuff that's different, but I do. Especially the minimap. Let me talk to you guys about the minimap real quick. Alright, the minimap. Huh. The minimap, man. Ugh. You know what? Infinity Word did something different. And people are complaining about that. How they want the minimap to stay in the game. Well, here's the thing. During the beta. During the, op during the beta weekends for PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. A lot of us Call of Duty players will be testing... Testing it out, playing the game for ourselves for many hours straight, and after when the beta ends completely, Infinity War will probably push out. We'll put all the all of us community people will probably um 
Let them know our feedback on the game, like bug reports and stuff. Well, most gamers during betas do not report bug reports. I mean, I do. I think it's pretty cool. It helps the developers create the better game. So feedback is key when you're doing like a play test or a beta. I do. I did, I did a lot of play tests over the last few years. Some major ones, some small ones. Later on in my YouTube career, I'll talk to you guys about my um, play testing and what what I have played. I do have some current play tests going on behind the scenes, but under strict rules and non-disclosure agreements, I cannot uh, talk about those games. Um, uh, yeah. But playtesting games is cool and all. But I'm excited to um, get my hands on Call of Duty Modern Warfare for the uh, multiplayer beta in a couple weeks. So that's exciting. Oop, just got a touchdown. Wait, no, it's a flag. Oops, sorry, guys. But yeah, I'm excited to play um, this year's Call of Duty game for the multiplayer beta. Um, and yeah. I'm excited. I know that I, I'm not that good yet with YouTube videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully a developer watches this. If you guys are, I'm happy for what you guys are doing. I'm excited to play your game. I've been playing Call of Duty since 2005. I played every single Call of Duties since then. Over time, I went back, played some of the older CODs, but one COD... One Call of Duty that, that, that's close to my heart is Big Red 1. Because that was like one of the first ones I played and I remember. The storyline was great. It was awesome. Nobody got offended over it because there was a, a tank or anything. Yeah, we live in a soft world nowadays. But anyway, um, I'm excited for the game. Overall, I'm pumped. I already pre-ordered. For the PlayStation 4, that's the console I play on. But yeah, guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. The gameplay is from E. coli Espresso, a YouTuber I watch on the daily. He's cool. I'll leave his social channels below. Make sure you go subscribe to him. Um, yeah, um, 